Hello everyone. Um, welcome to Moonlit Soap Work, and this is Helen. I am gonna do another batch of soap today, and this is gonna be a uh, confetti type of soap. I have some confetti pre chopped up from um, these are actually make from Malcolm Poor. I did a little too much of it last round, so I have a whole bunch of little shape going on. So I cut them up into little cute, and hopefully these will look pretty. Uh, it's gonna be a pretty simple color soap, and um, the color is the fragrance is gonna be sweet pre three p, which is um, the Bath and Body Work type. One of my favorite lotion from them, I think. Scents, I mean lotion scents from them, I think. It's always always love the way they smell. Okay, so this is pre-warm water. Um, my mixture of oil. I'm um, sorry, not pre-warm oil. Did I say water. Pre-warm oil, and the fragrance go in there first, just in case it might speed thing up too much. Um, funny thing, I even though this is my favorite fragrance, um, I never mixed soap out of it before. Hmm, interesting. So this is the first time, and uh, as far as the color is concerned, um, I'm going to be using, this is very pretty color. This is um, Electric Bubble Gum from Bramberberry. It's always a very stable, love this color, the way the color pops and everything. And uh, hopefully, and these, also a very similar color combination. This one is called Magenta, and it's from... Um, is for my Etsy, one of the Etsy seller that I found on online, and so far all the colors came out really pretty. The um the orange, the ice flame orange last time came out really pretty on my soap challenge. So I'm excited to try the magenta. I want to see how it go. Okay, let's make some soap. Here's the lye water. Drain this out. Oh, it's too big. Let's drain. It looks pretty good. Why does it even need to be drained? But I like to be draining my light solution just in case there's a little chunk going on in there. But I think it should be okay. Give it a nice little mix. It's gonna be a um a pink, the two carbon two combination of pinks is gonna be in the bottom. And then I want it to be a white top. So here's my premix. Here's my premix um, activated. No, not activated charcoal. Premix uh, titanium dioxide. Make my mess again. And let's put a little bit in to make sure it's going to be white. And add it. here. Oops. Okay. Sorry about that. Rub the stick and let's see. This is actually already coming together even without me flipping, without me even turn it on. Just using it as a whisk. Magenta. Oh wow, that's a very pretty color. You see that? That's a very pretty color. Just close Let's put them all in. Uh, probably could keep it a little bit lighter in color. Okay, let's see how it look in comparison to the electric bubble gum. They're 
very similar in tones. I might have to tone one of them down. With a little bit of white. Okay. Definitely do that. So I want one of them to be more a like sweet, pretty. Soft pastel in color. This is very pretty. It's a very pretty pastel in color. And I need a little bit more white into this one because I really want this to be white. It's going to be white enough even more once we blend it in. But, okay. Let's bring this to a thicker shade. looking pretty good okay I'm going to do the I'm gonna do the tall and skinny mold on this one I was gonna originally do the a drop spoon swirl on the bottom and then do the white on top but these color look so pretty I think I'm gonna keep them separate so I'm gonna do them in a layer so first is the layer of the magenta color very pretty. It's gonna be a very, very pretty color. Now, looking very pretty. And let me smack it. Okay. And then we're gonna do. Oops. I think I just. Oops, <laughs> sorry. Hopefully this two layer will still be separated. I think this one was a little tiny bit runny. <sighs> As usual. Hmm. Can be perfect, huh? This is the last one. Let's see how this look. And this is gonna have all these confetti that I was making before. These are all going into the white. I might have a little bit too much white for this mold, but we'll see. I 
had the feeling it might it might not stay separate like I like the way I like it. But it's okay. It's gonna be just fine. Here's the here's everything all mixed in. I'll pour on top and uh, my camera shut off for a little bit so hopefully you won't, nothing was missed and basically is all the little leftover bits and pieces that go on top of the white and I'm just going to go in with a spoon and give you a quick little design and we're going to call it a day. It's still a bit on the watery side to do most of anything to it right now so so this might be pretty much all I will be doing to it just want to bring in a little bit of the paint color this side seems to be a little bit more firm than the other side huh? all right okay Okay, calling it a day. So there you have it. This is sweet pea, and it's gonna be really pretty with three different layer in uh, darker pink, to light pink, and white with confetti. And the confetti is only really inside because you really can't see it from the top right now. And uh, put a little bit of glitter on top, maybe, and then that will be it. Okay. Thank you for tuning in and uh, stay tuned for the cutting video.